All right, and when we subtract two functions, we do the same way on the decimals calculator. I'm going to enter my f of x equals 3x cubed, 3x. I can go down here to my calculator, my keyboard, and do my cubed, hit my right arrow key to get out of it, minus 2x squared plus 5, and then I'm going to do my g of x. g of x equals x cubed. I can also do my keyboard by hitting the carrot key. Whichever way you can figure out is fine. 3x squared plus 4x minus 2. Okay. So looking at this so far, it's, um, you can see your two functions in red and blue. Now I'm going to take, uh, make sure it is in the right order. It says f minus g, so I may have to make sure I put my f of x first and subtract my g of x. So just looking at the graph here in green, you can tell that your domain starts from the far left, which that goes on for negative infinity to positive infinity, which is all real numbers. So that's the domain, but now I need to evaluate this for a negative 2. So I'm going to replace my x with a negative 2. And I'm getting that off of um, my problem here. Evaluate the difference when x is negative 2. And when I put that in, you can see that the calculator does the work for me, and it's a 3. So that's subtracting using Desmos.